And this is stream two today from Rants from Ronald Grump. Today I want to talk about both the value and the limitations of stereotypes we might hold. In our society, we are told that stereotypes have no value whatsoever. And as an individualist, I'm pretty inclined to agree with that. Ultimately, we have to deal with people as individuals, you know. If someone were to call me a white trash because I am a rural poor gun owner, <coughs> and not realize I went to one of the top 25 colleges in the country, I listen to music, from all around the world. I am a video and audio producer, play music. You know, am a literate sort of person, have written books of poetry, enjoy bird watching and other genteel activities. So certainly stereotypes like white trash, you know, gangbanger, the N word, calling gay people the F word, are not the complete story. We are individuals. On the other hand, different groups of people do form a subculture. And as a survival mechanism, there's nothing wrong with noticing certain patterns that perhaps a substantial minority of any given population engages in. To willfully blind yourself to that out of some misplaced idea of equity would be dumb. You know, if you're a black person and you're going into a rural white area, most people are not going to be bigots. But if someone drives towards you in a jacked up four-wheel drive pickup truck, with a confederate flag, you know, you best to, you know, it's not going to be in your self-interest to try and have a dialogue with those people. They probably want to hurt you due to their, you know, prejudices. Similarly, if you are driving through an urban area, you know, and you see a black dude with a suit or a black dude carrying a musical instrument, you know, no problem. If you see a black dude and his pants are pulled down around his knees and he has no shoelaces in his shoes and, like, he's giving you the look like you are going to die if you look in my eyes, then if you're in a car, you might want to lock your windows and get out of the area because gangbangers do not exist. They are not all black people. They are not even the majority of black people. But there is a violent gang hip-hop subculture in the black community. So here, here's my view on stereotypes. Look at people as individuals, but if an individual chooses to fall into their own cultural stereotype, it's okay to notice that. Uh, just like I said earlier in a video, you know, earlier in the week, that not all gay men are faggots. There are honorable gay men, you know, who serve in the military and, you know, could probably beat the shit out of me and bench press three or four hundred pounds or whatever one does when one's bench pressing. I'm not really into that sort of thing. But there are a, you know, substantial population of gay men who are faggots. Like this Carlos Menza character who, in going after Steven Crowder, has now basically, as one man, has somehow convinced YouTube, perhaps the plan was already there, but it's being implemented to purge major conservative voices off of the platform. Now, it may just be that this faggot Carlos uh, Manza, or whatever his name is, is just a tool. And it's really just mainstream media companies 
uh, you know, who are cynically using the faggot population of gays to get rid of competition. But certainly, whether there's a sincerity or not, people like Carlos are allowing themselves to be whiny little faggot bitches who are cry bullies who are ruining people's lives. So again, there are many honorable gay people, but Carlos Manza is a faggot. That's what we mean when we say faggot. You know, uh, if a gangbanger shoots someone, that's what we mean when we use the N-word. Uh, if a white trash meth addict overdoses in their trailer, that's what we mean by white trash or redneck or, you know, hillbilly, other disparaging terms. So do conduct your life in such a way that you think not all X. But if you run into an X, don't just like look blankly and like pretend like the X is not an X. It's a good idea to have these heuristics in your mind so you have some idea of what you're going to run into in different subcultures. And again, I'm not excluding my own white, male, heterosexual, rural, poor subculture from that. Not all of us are rednecks, are hicks, or white trash, or trailer trash, or whatever term you would like to use. I consider myself to be a sophisticated, urbane, well-read, cultural person. But I would be lying if, you know, I didn't realize that there are rednecks in the community who don't read books, who... Uh, you know, I'm a gun owner, but, you know, shoot their guns across the road and uh, get drunk and uh, cause a lot of trouble. So, you know, live your life, try to treat people as individuals, but always have in the back of your mind that there are subcultural groupings. And if you run into one of the dangerous ones, don't be naive about it. So that's really all I wanted to say on this subject today, and goodbye uh, for video two from beautiful northern Michigan.